In a KNWA news update, Cobblestone Farms in Fayetteville now has its tractor back after Arkansas's Department of Agriculture saw a report of the farm dealing with a string of thefts. I talked to the special agent specializing in agricultural thefts who found that stolen tractor and what this means for the nonprofit moving forward. This one's your best bet. Awesome, thank you. The power of community helped get Cobblestone Farms back on track after it faced a string of thefts in May. We think it's going to result in a ultimate good just with uh, the amount of people that we've been able to connect with uh, through this story. The nonprofit Cobblestone Farms in Fayetteville provides food to people in need in Northwest Arkansas. But when its tractor was stolen along with power tools, Executive Director Kelton Hayes has its mission got harder to fulfill. If our operations are interrupted in any way, that can cause a lot of ripple effects and the ultimate ripple effect is less of uh, this fresh produce or less of this uh, nutrient dense proteins and meats uh, being distributed among local food pantries. So that's when the community and the Arkansas Department of Agriculture stepped in to help. After our original story aired, the Department of Agriculture's law enforcement officers got involved. He went straight to Fayetteville and, uh, you know, within four hours he had tracked the tractor down. <laughs> Chief Billy Black says Special Agent Keith Dedman was able to quickly find the tractor behind an abandoned house in Fayetteville after he talked to people in the area who had seen the tractor go by the day it was stolen. This was one of those times that, hey, we, we made a difference. That's, that's, what, that's the feeling we get. He says it was a huge relief once he found that the tractor had been found. I looked over and saw a text that just said, I found it. Um, I broke my rule and got my phone uh, during dinner and I uh, was very, very excited. He says since the theft story aired, people and businesses in the community, along with the state's agricultural law enforcement officers, showed him the power of people working together. It was a terrible situation is going to end up bettering our organization, which is ultimately going to end up bettering community. <laughs> Now the investigation into who stole the tractor and the power tools remains ongoing. Hay says the stolen tools have not been recovered yet, but it's not stopping them from growing and giving out food to the Northwest Arkansas community.